Alphonse Jackie. For today's video, we will be discussing about how to install screen recorders in our Kali Linux. So recently I have uploaded a video about how to install Kali Linux in our laptop by making a dual boot system. And for today's video, I will be discussing about how to install a screen recorder from Kali Linux that we have just installed in our PC or laptop. So for this video, we will be discussing about two methods. So two methods will be, I mean, I mean the two methods will be two apps that we will be installing in this video. So that will be a simple screen recorder and OBS Studio. I think everybody should know about that. So let's start our first steps of installing simple screen recorder. Now let's uh, move on to our uh, steps to install uh, simple screen recorder. So I am also recording this by using simple screen recorder so you can actually see the quality of simple screen recorder. And for uh, for the first uh, thing that we have to do in our terminal is just update our terminal. For that that will be apt get update and apt get update. And if you have updated it regularly till now then it uh, will not take too much time it is just finishing just seconds like uh, me that you can see i have just updated uh, my linux terminal some time ago and the thing that you have to install from now on is uh, uh, just uh, directly install the application so for that we will be writing sudo apt install simple screen recorder or you can also just uh, type apt install simple screen recorder I'll show you after uh, installing this uh, that if it works or not. So in in this screen you can see that uh, I have already updated it, so it is showing zero newly apps installed. So now let me just type the apt install simple screen recorder. And now we, you can see that uh, by using only apt install, it is also same result. And this is the interface of simple screen recorder. In which you can select uh, all the options that you want to select. And then I have just uh, selected MP4 format. If you are recording from computer, then I suggest you to select MKB format because it is uh, more better in PCs. And for laptop, it doesn't matter which format that you use. Uh, because uh, I think it will be easier in mp4 format so I use mp4 format and it's uh, basically very easy as so you just have to open it and record and then just save it. and then now uh, let's move on to our uh, next method uh, in which we will be installing uh, OBS studio and because uh, installing OBS studio is a task uh, is a time consuming task so I actually did it in second step or if you have get board in if I have done that in the first setup. So first of all let me open a, let me again update the, the terminal. It's actually not necessary to update terminal for me because I have already updated updated it. Uh, but I am doing this for the person who have skipped my video till now to just uh, one install a OBS studio. So uh, first of all if you have just skipped video then please update your uh, package files by using apt upgrade options uh, and after uh, updating your packages in your systems then you have to install a new software known as ffmpeg actually ffmpeg uh, stands for fast forward moving picture uh, experts group uh, just like jpeg but uh, ffmpeg is a free and open source software that can help you that can provide you many tools for your video and audio, audio processing FFmpeg uh, is a tool or project is a tool or software uh, which helps you in decode, encode, transfer, mox, demox, stream, filter, and play uh, most of the types of video and audio. Uh, while uh, FFmpeg is another software, it helps uh, it helps in reading, writing, handling, and manipulating media files uh, in OBS Studio. So we have to install it first. You can just use our apt get uh, command and just install OBS Studio. For that, we have to type api get install OBS Studio. And it will take some time because OBS Studio 
uh, consume some of the space and I have a very low internet connection so it will take me for a little time and the most important thing while installing the OBS should be is you have to install first of all and after camping without after camping uh, OBS studio will not run too badly but uh, test it till now so uh, I actually don't know what exactly will happen I can install OBS studio without after camping but I suggest you to install after camping first and then just install OBS studio now our installation process has been completed and then you just have to search for OBS studio in your source bar and then you can see that uh, uh, it is already found it has already found OBS studio now our, our OBS studio uh, has been opened and you know it means that actual installation process has been completed so why my video is just uh, too long so first of all let me tell you the reason for that the reason for that is uh, while installing OBS studio in Kalinux is actually different from uh, installing it in installing in in uh, Windows while using Kali Linux in Windows then you can just use one screen capture and then all of the your screen will be captured and will be recorded if you just open new Chrome tabs or if you open your new apps then they will be also recorded but uh, while Kali in Kali Linux uh, you just have to select a uh, different windows for different uh, Apps or terminals that you have opened uh, till now. So first of all, I will show you what will be the what will be the problem that you will face if you just uh, try to try to use it uh, as normal in Windows. So I have also tried to use it uh, for the one time, and I will just show you the recording what has happened uh, in that time, and then I will just show you how to fix that problem. So first of all, let me. Just skip this part and this part, and I'll just show you the video in which uh, I have gotten errors. Recording of a time when I was just uh, recording uh, my video by using OBS Studio, and when I just thought that uh, it will be easier to use, uh, similar to my Windows uh, OBS Studio. In which you can see that now I am just uh, running terminal in this uh, screen, but uh, I cannot see that, and sometimes you can see that it is even black screen. Because I have just changing uh, settings in OBS Studio to see what are the problem, and you can see there are just too many problems. So I just uh, trying to use it uh, similar to Windows. Now this was the time when I actually realized how to use it. So I think I should also tell you about this. So you don't have to just search for Google and check your Google can't do it. So let's move on to our solution. Now, I'm going to record my screen and then I will just show you what, what a setting do you have to use uh, in OBS Studio in Kalinux to make it uh, work, uh, work perfectly. Um, so, for that, um, you can see that uh, in the screen uh, there are there is only a desktop window, even though I have just uh, added a new terminal here. So, for every terminal that you have to open. Add uh, or open in Kalinux. You just have to add a new Windows capture for that, and you can just uh, slide it uh, to the top, or you can just uh, take it in the full form if you want to record it, record a document in full screen. And I'm just uh, if I just add a new terminal, then you just you just have to add a new Windows capture for that particular new terminal or particular application that you need on in Calvinux. Now you can see that you can create a new terminal but there was there is not an option to add that terminal. So to actually input this we have to cancel it and just again add and we'll do capture and then we just have to do the same process again and just add a new window or new terminal that we have opened. And just uh, shrink the size if you want to shrink it. And the reason, the reason that we have to use this method uh, to add a new window or a new uh, terminal is that because I was not able to find direct display capture in the Kali Linux. Find that option in your OBS Studio, then just you, you just have to add that feature, and you don't have to add a, a new window for every terminal. But uh, if you also face a uh, similar issue to this, then 
this will be the common method uh, to solve your problem uh, you can just uh, reinstall OBS studio by removing and just installing it again if it doesn't solve and thanks for watching the video till now and please uh, share this video to someone who wants to record this video in kindness and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want to see my latest videos thank you